Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Theo here. On today's video, we are going to take the E36 M3 to Pennsylvania. Yes, there's a few parts that I want to go and pick up there. So today we're going to drive and see how the car handles and take the drive. It's about four hour drive. Let's go. Perfect. If you follow the channel along, you will know that I did the exact same type of drive on a Mini Cooper when I used to have it. I took it to Pennsylvania just to kind of test the car, see how the you know the car is when you do long drive and see if this is recommended or something like that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now with the E36 M3. So I have about four hour drive, you know, two hours each way to Pennsylvania to pick up some parts. On my way back, you know, I will let you know how the drive is and everything that I had as fast challenges. Now I have a full tank of gas and so far I drove about um, three miles from my house, but on the actual tank of gas, I drove maybe 15 miles already because I did put the gas yesterday and I drove around the neighborhood and went to work and things like that. So when I check about the gas mileage, I need to factor the 15 miles that I've completed already. All right, so enough talk. Uh, let's go ahead and get going. So I have, like I said, three, four miles now on my trip computers here, and it's 5 a.m. So let's start the trip. We should see if you know how the car handles, how the car is, you know, doing in terms of, you know, long drive commute and things like that. If it's a great car that you can take on a trip, this E36 M3, is it comfortable? Things like that. Those are the type of things that we are going to discuss today. All right, now um, let's get going. I'm about halfway to my location in Pennsylvania. You can see the nice view here. This morning, 6.22. And you can see that I drove about 85 miles already on the trip computer right there. Yeah, man, so far so good. No issues. I feel like I can drive five more hours. I've been doing you know 26 mpg and my average speed let's see 57 miles per hour not speeding too much but you know just enjoying the time so far so good when i get to my location i'm going to film again and then give you guys my impression so far i am enjoying the ride and it's a bit stiff because of the springs that i have cold overs yeah let's get back to my normal music i can't put music right now because you know copyright issues but i'm listening to music and trust me this is actually one of the first time i listen to the music on this car all the time i drive i always have the exhaust you know as my music but this time i'm using uh, my bluetooth here and i have to say that the speaker sound really good for the age yeah it sounds really good bass is good everything is good I mean, it's definitely not better than my F80, but you know, for a 23 year old car, it sounds really good. Hi, right, man. Let me get back to driving. I made it to my location. I'm waiting for the guy now so we can make our deal on the item that I'm picking up. The ride was really cool. The car was really comfortable. And I definitely can do another maybe three hours drive before my back start hurting and stuff. But so far, so good, man. Here's the car. I'm not going to lie to you, for some reason, I'm a bit afraid, you know, with this car compared to, you know, the same drive when I completed it with the Mini Cooper. Probably because, you know, the fact that this car is pretty old and not the best reliable car so far. I haven't had any, like, mechanical issues yet, but in terms of just how people are treating the cars, you know, these, this model on the forum, they're not the best reliable car. But once you maintain them, they're a piece of work and piece of engineering that you can easily enjoy. Can't wait to fix this. Cannot wait to fix this. It's pretty dirty right now. I am back in the neighborhood and let's see 
how many miles I drove? 299 miles. Yes. And if I have to check my consumption, 26.7 average speed, 61 miles per hour. So as you can see, one full tank, even though that I drove 50 miles before I started the trip, one full tank I was able to do almost say 300 miles. This is this is really good. Technically, this full tank I did more than 300 miles. This 300 miles is only for this trip. If you add a 55 mile, I will be that will be 355 miles that I did with one full of, one full tank. This is not bad. Definitely not bad. Now let me go ahead and tell you about how you know the whole trip went. I'm back now, as you can see, to this same spot. When I took the Mini Cooper on a similar drive, after four or five hours drive, my back was hurting me a little bit. The guy's mileage was also good. But with this one, one full of tank, 350 miles, and four hours drive, five hours drive, my back doesn't hurt me. I can still do another maybe four hours drive with this car. It was very, very comfortable. Now the exhaust noise was not too loud so that it didn't give me headache, right? The music was nice. I was enjoying having a good time. Now, I thought that the car was going to break down. Maybe I'm jinxing myself or something. But I was a little skeptical, a little scared, afraid. That's why I didn't want to push the car too much because I was like, hey man, I'm too far from home. I don't really want any issues. But the car was very reliable. It was pretty cool. No overheating, no nothing like that. So yeah, man, this car is a pretty, 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 pretty fun car. This is one car that could be your daily. It could be a family car, it could be a truck car, it could be all of those at the same time. That's exactly what I'm trying to do with this car right here. Street and truck. Yep. I know it looks a little crazy. I have bought parts to fix it up. I have a new bumper. I have a new nose panel, new grill that I have to install. I have the AC system that I also purchased that I'm going to install. Just to make sure that the car is drivable, you know, when I'm in the street and it looks better. Probably soon enough, I'm going to have to do a new paint job on the car just so that it looks much, much, much better. Yeah, man. This is it. Got someone pulling up with a charger. On this note, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you do. And uh, that will definitely uh, make me happy because I would like to grow and I can only grow with your help. Thank you again and stay safe. Bye-bye.